All right, welcome back to the Players 8 Blitz. I'm Tim. I'm Alexander. I'm Grant. And today we're taking a look at Anachrony, a new uh, game that's come out uh, by Mind Clash Games and the designer David Turtsey. It's a worker placement game mixed in with some time travel and uh, futuristic kind of stuff with awesome miniatures. <laughs> So we're going to talk a little bit about what we enjoyed with it, what we got out of our first game, uh, maybe some negatives. Uh, Alexander, what do you have to say? Um, so, first off, love sci-fi theme. Time traveling in a board game, haven't done that very often, so that was really interesting. This is quite a, a big game. Work of placements, usually you've got a board, and you kind of do a little bit of thing, but I feel like, you know, just a lot of stuff on the table, the box is huge. And you feel like, I, I felt like, you know, you're doing some bits and pieces, you, you're trying to like, save the world, kind of, but like save the people. And there's there's a big scope to it with the time travel. I really enjoyed, I thought this was a big box game. I really felt that this was a big box game. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, I think this is a very heavy game as well. Um, and I actually asked for a really meaty game <laughs> this did. weekend. He's been begging for one. <laughs> yes. This game, I think, if it's very unforgiving, would be my, my concept. If you don't get the right things early on, you're going to struggle. And it doesn't necessarily mean the right tiles or specific tiles it just means you have to have the ability yeah. to get additional resources particularly near the end of the game mm -hmm. i like that i did very poorly in this game but i still like that planning concept i would do things a lot differently next time and i think why that's good is because there's very little randomness to the game right. there's, there's a couple of elements but but this is very strategic this is your decision making right and if you time things poorly or you goof then like it hurts but like right. I'm not like I don't think the game's unfair because it was like uh, no that's not, that's not that's not what I'm saying yeah. I think what I'm saying is there were times it took me three or four actions to get what I needed to do what I wanted to do mm -hmm. that's awesome but if you mess that up somehow yeah. you're like oh crap I can't go back and right. and do that again so it kind of lost that turn and, and what I mean by that is some of my mechs I, I couldn't power them up. I had, what, one mech the last time, two the previous, and that, that really is punishing. But I think also the concept that I messed up was this is not a game about using your mechs all the time, the whole time. If you power a mech up, you might want to save it over, right? Yeah. Because you, you can't get the maximum benefit out of it or the, or the action you needed. So just pass. And I yeah. think that's, in my mind, <laughs> most worker placement games are about Get every worker you've got out there. Take every action you can. I don't know that this game is like that, and I think that's cool. Yeah. To me, that's a little different. Your mechs yeah. aren't your workers. Right. right. Your workers like you are your little earlier, part. Yeah. Good. Because so I, there is a sense of urgency, right? You need to get evacuated. And, and if, I didn't get you, evacuated. If you make <laughs> up a couple of mistakes, you're just like, oh, crap. I, how am I going to get this accomplished? How am I going to get this done? I absolutely, I can't say enough good things about this game. It's great. Uh, spoiler alert, it's probably going to be my top 10 games of all time already. Um, but it, it, I love so many things about this game. I love the worker placement. I love the different actions that the workers use. I love that you have to put them in the mechs to go out in places. I love the time travel, which is actually just a loaning uh, mechanism. But I, I think the time travel That's thing works. That's a very neat and I think unique and I, and I think I like it, that it works, instead of borrowing from a bank, I like that it, they put the sci-fi theme on it, but the time yeah. traveling... They force you to go back, back and to do something. And it's neat. I, 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 that's one of my favorite parts about the game. Like, right. Right. Yeah. Just and I did cool. that, like, I think four times, I think. That was kind of cool. I really liked yeah, that it's, aspect. It's cool. It's unique. Yeah. I've not done that before in really a game, I that. think. Yeah, it's really neat. Um, literally, the only negative thing that I could possibly say is that you do need to play this at least once yeah. in order to feel like that you can uh, compete. I mean, this is my second time playing. I played with my wife the other day. This is these guys' first time playing. I, I, I won pretty soundly, but I, it would be much different the next time we play. I feel like that you guys would be doing a much better job. Yeah, it's like any heavy game. Once you played it once, you're like, oh, I know what I should be doing now. Right, right. right. I was also surprised... I thought you were a little more in contention, and you, you, you won by like eighteen points. Yeah. yeah. And then the interesting thing was, is I was only seven points behind you, and I thought, "Wow, that's 
that's actually a well balanced game, and I think well designed. Yep. Because it allowed us to to really get out there and try to do. Had I evacuated, I probably would have been, been in second place. Right. right. O- only by one point or two points, but good, good. I think good design, well balanced. Yeah. It is just very. I'm going to use that word again. Punishing. If yep. you do not do things, and and there's many routes you can take, yeah. but oh, you've yeah. got to get something out of every turn and not overdo it or overpay because you're going to be punished in the end. Yeah. And that's cool. And the replayability is just off the charts, right? I mean, you have different sides of the evacuation play. Uh, you have different leaders that you can How use, buildings different buildings. See. There's two modules that we didn't even use today. Um, just off off the charts, the, the production of this game is one of my favorite productive games. Even without the miniatures, the player boards and how they're unique to each faction and how they look different is just absolutely fantastic. I love arc iconography in games, and this uses a lot of <laughs> icons. Yeah. One of my favorite games is Race for the Galaxy. We don't play it very often, but it's one of those games that when you learn the symbology and the icons, you can really understand Pretty things better. Good. And by the end of our game, I was like, oh, okay, I, I got the concepts. Yeah. I would love to play it again and see. But that was the how comparison I had in my mind the whole game. Like tons of iconography. The first round, you're like, "Oh, what does this one do? What does this one do?" But once you get it down, so a lot of the symbols mean a lot more because some of the buildings have, you know, it's a mixture of some of the other symbols on the board. Yeah. And it's yeah. okay. What does that one mean? We'll look it up this time. Next time, you got it down. So it'll go much quicker yeah. as well. Yeah. But yeah, iconography heavy, which means it will translate well between countries. It's a Czech game, and I think that's why right. they chose to do right. it. Yeah. yeah. Not necessarily language dependent, that's for sure. No, no. Very, very, very much not. You can figure it out from the symbols. Yeah. So. And, and the rule book was good. Uh, I was the one that read the rule book and learned it. And a very few times that I had to go back and learn something new or check. I mean, we always check stuff to make sure we're doing it right. But very few times that I have to go back and be like, what in the world are they talking about here? So the rule book is written real well. Uh, just to wrap it up, again, I think this game is fantastic. Yeah, it's a big thumbs up for me. This is an excellent worker placement game. I usually judge a game by whether I want to play it again, and I think this one, if we had another two hours, I would want to play this <laughs> immediately because it it is very unique, and I think it draws you in. I feel sucked in. I failed my civilization. You did. Literally. You did. Failed them. We're burning. <laughs> usually at some the, point you go into the cram hell. mode, yeah, I, and you figure I it out. Them. But this time you didn't. But I, I, I want to play this thing again. Immediately. And maybe this week you and I can break it out on one of our weekend day gaming nights. <laughs> Anytime. Yep. Anytime. Very good game, though. I, okay. I give it a thumbs up. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, this is Player's Aid.